Yes, my wallet is made out of chupa cabra leather. And I am the only man who does know why the mariachi band is always smiling. Mic check, mic check. What's kicking, family? I'm glad you've clicked in so I can check in with you. Yes. And I am the most interesting man in the world. <laughs> I just love that ad campaign. That's, that, that dude is so cool, so suave, so debonair, so bon vivant, such a renaissance man. Yes. I like that ad campaign. That's real cool. He does some really, some really, really cool stuff. And that last one, that, that, that campaign when they got on the radio, his wallet is made out of chupacabra leather. If you don't know what the chupacabra is, I think y'all need to start Googling that and check it out. They even ran a, a little something, something about the chupacabra on the History Channel. All right? So, moving right along, Mr. Batch continues what's kicking family a lot has happened since my last transmission I mean since my last uh, video upload what I did upload before this one was the one that I did uh, for the first round and uh, for the drafting of Prince Amuka Mara all right I think I might have pronounced his name wrong in the first video but I got it right this time so let me continue with my quick riff rant, uh, talking about some of the events that have transpired all up until this date. And first, um, uh, first let me start with a hand salute. Those troops for a job well done in the elimination of Osama bin Laden. So let's continue here. Now, as you know, with the 19th pick, the New York Giants had selected Prince Amuka Mara. Well, we didn't know this talented uh, defensive player of the year was going to fall into our laps. And bingo, guess what? Best player on the board, you take him. Then, there was also Prince William and his longtime girlfriend, Kate. They got married in a very elaborate soiree over there in England. Congratulations for that couple. Then, along with that, we come back for the draft, and then we get locked out again. Now, this is from my man Jason Smith's 12, or is it Jimmy Smith's 12? I'm doing this real quick, family. You know, me and this, me and this guy, we've been going back and forth about, uh, about the football season. I was coming out. I was excited. I'm still excited about the football season. I know it's going to happen. But I, I had the videos really, really geared towards that football. And I still will have those videos geared towards football. Okay? But me and my man, hey, we've been kicking it back and forth about the season going and the season not going. He's been giving me the ha-ha, Mr. Batch. Now what happens? You know, you dropped your gun when you came through the window. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's an Eddie Murphy joke. Okay? What happens is it's is the lockout is on again damn come on family can i get my football in one steady stream but like how i said in a previous video is that we're going to have football i think and i'm predicting prognostication and pontification that we will have it around the fourth week of when we're supposed to have the fourth week of football and that they'll be able to get in the full slate of games guarantee now with that being said my man Jason Smith 12 saying no football think with the lockout he's got that one but I've got this one coming with Madden the latest installment I will be having my football if I'm not able to get it on the television set in person oh in either on the television set or in person I'll still be able to 
get my football on with Madden. Well, right now, Madden has the draft picks going to the particular teams. Now, if we didn't have the draft, how would they set the roster for the next one going forward? Now, I don't know how the collective bargaining agreement is going to uh, uh, impact the Madden game. But from what I understand, that they already have the cover for Madden. And I can't even recall this guy's name. This is like a nondescript kind of guy. Am I losing it, fellas? In some cases, y'all are going to say, yeah. <laughs> but that's all right. Got to have some fun, family. So. Getting back to the Madden thing. Draft, go to the certain teams. What I'm looking for now is uh, somewhere down the line where we'll get a much more finalization of that. But let me let me continue with this before I start, you know, start ranting and dribbling and going off on a tangent someplace. All right, then we had Donald Trump versus President Barack Obama. Where's the birth certificate? Next thing you know, he comes out. Bam! Hits him in the head and says, Trump this, and comes out with the birth certificate. Then we got news that uh, Katie Couric is leaving her post at CBS. Very well done, uh, young lady. Uh, very fine news person. She's going to be replaced by Scott Pillay, uh, and he's a very good newsman. Um, all the best for Miss Couric. I like her work. I think she's a cutie. Got to, man. Yo. Yo, straight up. <laughs> Baby girl's a cutie, man. Yo. And after that, we get the announcement this past weekend uh, from President Obama about them getting Osama dead lot. That's right. That's how some of the newspapers are putting it. Now, I had got a text from a friend of mine. I was out running around. He's like, yo, the president's going to make an announcement. There's a crawl. He was watching Celebrity Apprentice. And we started going back and forth like, yo, these guys have taken it to a different level now. You know, the little equivalent back and forth. But this was some serious business about the president okaying the covert operation by the Navy SEAL team to storm this compound and extract a said person, Bin Laden. But that didn't happen. He went out with a fight and he got taken out. So that's a great day for America as far as going on with the fight against terrorism. Uh, I mean, yo, this guy it was the mastermind behind the 9-11 and several other bombings going around the world. And the thing that gets me is that a lot of innocent women and children were involved in this fight. If you're going to have your fight, take it someplace else. Leave the women and children out of this. Don't use them as shields. Don't be going into a crowd so you can fight. That's coward. Okay? Bring the fight. I understand that's part of warfare that can be uh, considered as guerrilla warfare. But hey, when you get taken out like that, I've got no remorse. Now, moving right along. Jeter has only 48 hits to go until he reaches 3,000. That's right. The captain, Jita, Derek Jita, will get his 3,000 hits, and I'll be happy for that young man. Now, speaking of another shortstop, the New York, other New York shortstop, Jose Reyes, did an amazing thing last night against the defending world champion San Francisco Giants. He got on base six times, three hits, three walks. Unfortunately, it was a loss in extra innings to the San Francisco Giants. Now, basketball. We're now in the NBA Conference Semifinals. You got in the East. You got the Hawks. one nothing over Chicago. Excuse me for that, folks. That was that bagel from this morning that's coming up. <clears throat> okay. All right, Mr. Batch continues. All right, the Hawks one nothing over Chicago. I don't know. I'm going crazy. I like the Hawks over Chicago on this one. Derek Rose, congratulations, MVP. Thibodeau, congratulations, Coach of the Year. All right, Heat 2 nothing over the Celtics. I like the Heat over the Celtics. Even though I, I, I can't stand, I would want the Heat to lose as much. But right now we're in the playoffs, and i got to think logically and not emotionally. And logically, the Heat look like they're going to overpower the Celtics. 
Out in the West, you've got the Mavericks, 1-0 over the Lakers. Yes, they shocked Kobe and company in L.A., pulling out a victory on L.A.'s home court with Kobe missing the last game, game-winning game shot. That shot they would have won if he would have dropped it. And then you have OKC 1, Memphis 1. Memphis shocked, shocked OKC by taking that first game from OKC on their on their floor. And that was 36 a- hours after dispatching their other opponent to get there. Now, I'm going to close out on the football tip here because, you know, this is kind of like the, the football season for me. Now, Mendenhall from the Steelers. Come on, family. Do some research before you start tweeting. You're going to start, look, tweeting is like talking. you got to think before you, you say something. You made uh, a statement, something to the effect that, you know, how can you celebrate uh, the death of a person when you haven't heard uh, what he had to say? Family, you're 23 years old. How old were you when the towers went down? 23, so you were 13. Okay, now that you're of this age and, you, you know, you're tweeting for all the world to hear, and then you said you did, nobody's heard him. You should have took the time out to get what Bin Laden had said, transcripted, translated to English to hear what he says. Because for you saying that, you didn't hear what he said either. So why are you saying that? You never listened to what what vileness, what he was spewing. How he was saying he wanted to make sure all Jews, Americans, and everybody as such who likes our way of life be destroyed and eradicated what were you thinking see sometimes this uh, modern technology will is a detriment to some of these high profile people and a lot of times you have to discount what they're saying because there wasn't not one iota of thought going into what was said and this is no knock on the Steelers because uh, from what I've seen, the Steelers have distanced themselves from that statement. Plus, the owner of the Steelers is an ambassador to Ireland for President Obama. Duh, dude. Dude. Dude, dude, dude. You in your own little world, ain't you? You in your own little world. Now... With that being said, let's close out with this. As you know, as we as we speak, as we speak, is there a bunch of us in here? Oh, it's just me speaking to you guys over here. All right. The Eighth Circuit Court will hear the case of the NFL versus the players on June 3rd. Each side will have 30 minutes to make their case for whether the lockout stays or the lockout goes. Once that's done... We'll have a final ruling in the middle of June, and then we'll find out how soon or how late the football season will start. This is Mr. Batch. A hand salute to those men and women in our military service for a job well done. Also, don't forget Mother's Day is coming up this weekend. Say you love your mom. I love my mom. Hey, mom. This is Mr. Batch. I'm out of here. Like I stole something. Stay blessed, y'all. I'm out. Peace.